Hi, Gino Borges here. I want to share with you the Burning Man Report 2010 from a wild self perspective. As you know from previous reports, such as my Boulder Report, I am interested in habitats, places, towns that potentially could serve the wild self type of lifestyle. I've been attending Burning Man since 2003. Burning Man is a countercultural arts festival that supports radical self expression that is held in northern Nevada in a place outside of Gerlach, out on the playa bed of the Black Rock Desert. And from a wild self perspective, what we're interested in is three particular aspects. One is nature, two, the body, and three, expressive arts. Let's first talk about the role of nature at Burning Man. One thing is, is that it's held out in Black Rock Desert, which isn't for the faint of heart. If you've been watching uh, my visual essays over time, I've been talking about Black Rock Desert because I lead quests out to Black Rock Desert. That's when few people are out there. Uh, but in Burning Man's case, actually over 50,000 people attend this festival out in the middle of this playa bed, this old lake bed. And you have to come prepared. And so one of the things I really like about this temporary city that they set up called Black Rock City is, is that it allows the environment as itself as a place of power. It's definitely a power place. And you have this beautiful hill range around you. But the Playa Dust creates an environment of intense rawness. You've got to go out prepared. So it's pretty funny. So that's why I'm wearing these goggles, because this is something that you have to wear out there, especially when the wind starts picking up. And then so that you don't breathe, breathe the playa dust, you actually wear a bandana around uh, the front of your face. So in terms of nature, one of the things that I'm really I'm intrigued about the possibilities of Burning Man is the place that it's held because it supports, it supports that wild element. And so they don't take off a lot of the edge. It's, it's, uh, they provide basic services out there in Black Rock City for the week. But they provide, they keep the edge so that you feel the visceral connection where, where you're at. Whether it's the heat, the intense heat, and it forces you to adapt and to make shade structure, or just the intense dust storms, and yet the party still continues even during the dust storms. It's really a beautiful thing. As for body and expressive arts, usually uh, sometimes I separate these. In this case, I'm going, to, I'm going to bring them together because body is such an, a crucial role out there, the role of the body and the wild body in particular. Whether it is the costumes that people are wearing, whether it's the attire as a form of expression, all kinds of things taking place, very colorful activities, whether it's the sense of movement and dance that's taking place, or the lack of costume. <laughs> So um, often we um, will think of nakedness as a form of expression, and that's also an important attribute that occurs out there, and it's a space where people get to explore these different aspects of their body in relationship to an expressive art. Now, the more traditional forms of expressive arts are very well supportive, or supported, I should say. And that is, this, since I've been going, I've noticed this uptick, which I particularly like, in like live musical performances and live menu or and live venues for music. So it used to be pretty techno heavy. It's still techno heavy, but there's a lot of there's a lot of different variety now in terms of musical sources, and there's a lot of different variety also in terms of different types of ways of living. I mean, there was like this bhakti community. And there's different types of um, creative arts, creative chaos, a lot of risk taking in terms of structures that are actually being created. The, the particular theme of this uh, Burning Man 2010 was Metropolis. So it was basically looking at the ways that we interface with city life. So out in the middle of the playa is a lot of very talented uh, folks who are making these exhibits, well, along with, because some of these exhibits are so big, they have a team of supporters, a team of volunteers, and it's a, it's just, every time I go out there, I'm just so, in, so inspired by the sheer creativity and the sheer devotion of the entire project. And in terms of expression, something that often doesn't get talked about um, as a form of expression is the creativity that occurs as a result of not having a currency as a substitute for value. So meaning that there is no traditional type of currency exchange. Like if you want something and I if you want something and I have it, we typically trade in this default world or in the profane world, we would typically trade 
our, my dollar or your dollar for the good or services that, that we want. But in this case, we are sort of creatively responding and offering different things. And as a result, we look toward our interior to look about what we have to value or what we have a value that we can offer. And as a result, the beautiful thing about this is that when you do offer something, it doesn't get judged in a way where you feel sort of insecure. But it's actually like, I mean, people are, people are very well receiving in terms of what others have to offer. So is Burning Man 2010 on the wild side of life? Yes, it is, uh, for sure. It addresses the edge for the nature needs, the, the wild sense, and being out at Black Rock Desert, one of my favorite places to be at, even when there's nobody there. And then uh, the, the interface between the body and expressive arts is just, um, yeah, it's just a special place. So it lasts one week. Um, and it is a very special place and I'd love to hear your story. I know there was wild self followers out there. I saw a couple, perhaps I missed some too. So feel free to share your story in terms of how Burning Man evokes that sense of wild self uh, within you. Alright, thank you everybody.